Hey everyone, I'm Cecil Laird. I mean Fuego Ya. And this is your Horror Show News Editorial Edition. And Fuego, what are we starting with this week? Uh, we're just jumping right into the topics, and first and foremost being your report on the Sleepaway Camp Reboot Equal, whatever the hell you want to <laughs> call it. Reboot Equal, I don't know. Equal, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Uh, executive producer Jeff Katz uh, from New Line has apparently made it his pet project to bring it back, and... Mm. I am interested to see. I mean, the first movie sticks with you. They did a bunch of sequels, though, didn't they? They did. They yeah. did at least two sequels. Did they not um, start? They might have done three, actually. There might have been a Sleepaway Camp 4 at okay. some point. Did they not have the, the same person as in the first one? Because I, I didn't see any of the You know, I, so. haven't, uh, I haven't seen them in so long, I can't speak for sure. I thought they brought the main actress back, hmm. but I could be wrong, I suppose. Okay. Uh, but I am into, you know, we're going to have to go through them eventually, because yeah. we're going through all the series eventually on our channel. Yes, we are. We have taken and then upon ourselves to do this for you guys, for insight and for fun. Absolutely, but uh, I'm interested to see because the ending of that first movie is forever branded in my brain. And also our uh, co-helper uh, of the show, Mr. Andrew Mercer, had like scarred him as a child. Yeah, yeah, actually that was a really funny story how that came about. He, mm -hmm. he didn't even he remember did, the no, name of the movie. he didn't remember the name of the movie, but he described it, and I was like, oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, Sleepaway, Sleepaway Camp. Camp. Yeah. Yeah. So the, I am the, the into boy it. boy bits, or whatever you say. Yeah, the girl with the boy bits. Um, I am into to the idea of bringing the actress back and sort of yeah. having her maybe sort of metaphorically pass the torch yeah. to a new sleepaway camp killer. Yeah. Um, it's cool for continuity sake yeah. at least. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So we'll jump into my next story then. Godzilla's so hot right now. I mean, we've got the resurgence, which is the retitle of Gasiho Godzilla or something like that. I don't know. That yeah, Shiro Godzilla or something Shiro, like that. Yeah, Shiro, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So that's the one that is wreaking havoc, as I said during our Kings of Horror broadcast in Japan, doing very well. It's going to see a stateside release. Plus, we also have the sequel to the Gareth Edwards film. We have the King Kong crossover in 2020. But before that, in 2017, an anime CGI Godzilla. I, I think it's a cool idea. Yeah, I think so yeah. too. I, I like Godzilla in most forms, mm. unless they don't show him to me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> which I poke fun at during our Kings of Horror broadcast. But I don't so. <laughs> think that would be an issue. I think, no. honestly, frankly, animation might be the best place for a Godzilla movie I if it's CG. I think they more yeah. bloody and fighting. More they creatures. Yeah, more, more creatures the whole way through. Mm. So I'm actually very into that idea. I think actually, that'd be great. I actually want to see that as a video game because I loved King of the Monsters. They and made Rampage a recent one last that. year or the year before and it was just god awful. Ah, that they sucks. did so terrible no with it. Bueno, oh, man. It, was just, it was just a utilization of the property mm. and it it's funny, it, there's a really great review online if you guys check out Angry Joe's review of How Godzilla. How did I know you were going to mention that? <laughs> He's so funny, though. That that one review is hilarious. It drives him nuts, that mm. game. So I am into seeing an yeah. actual good animated version. Yeah, same here. Now, another game in the horror genre that uh, you can get excited for is Alice in Road, which was based on the tech demo PT that uh, Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro made. People are still drying their eyes over that one. Exactly. That was supposed to be a demo for an up coming Silent Hills reboot game, Plural. <laughs> but uh, it is no longer going to be coming. So Norman Reedus was involved, right? Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So Christian Kessler took it upon himself to sort of build his own version of it, mm. titled it Allison Road, and it was chugging along, but then in June, he pulled away from it, mm. and it was sort of um, put on the shelf, mm. but recently he came out saying that he took time and reevaluated, and now... He's into the game. It's speaking to him again. Back from the of. dead. Yeah, so uh, I'm excited about this because I played through PT and it really was a really scary experience, even though it was only a 20 to 30 yeah. minute demo. Makes fans think of what could have been, obviously. Yeah. But I, I have to ask, is this going to be more like photorealistic, like that approach was? Yeah, yeah, or? yeah, I believe it will be. And uh, the screenshots that they've you know put out for it look that way. Which um, you can probably see below right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> exactly. But it looks really cool. So I'm Absolutely. definitely excited about Alice in Road. Hey, any spooky video game, I'm always at least intrigued to check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in my second story, you are familiar with the Meg books. I haven't read any of them. Love them. I'm still excited for the movie. I'm wondering if it's going to... does. So is there much humor in the books or not really? Not a lot. It's a yeah. pretty straightforward summer book. No. Um, there's, yeah. there's, you know, jokes here and there, but mm -hmm. it's not definitely what the book is known for. I think I might like Meg more as like a tongue-in-cheek piranha type. No. You don't think so? No, you don't think it fits not. the story? No, absolutely not. It, it would function way more as, I mean, and look, with the shallows and now yeah. 17 really or 17 serious, meters, right? or 47 meters down, whatever yeah. it's called. Maybe with more. those two, I, I think they're going to be happier leaning back towards a more serious tone because... That's what the book deserves. Hmm. I mean, it's a giant shark. There, a it's, megalodon it's shark. It's hard to make that funny. 
with that, you know, uh, with people know. getting gobbled up. Yeah, Sharknado, though. I mean, come that's on. different. That's sharks coming out of the sky and I raining know. on people. Completely it's... different. This is. It needs to have that more serious tone. So then, what do you think the casting of Rain Wilson is? He going to play it straight then, or is oh, yeah. he going to be the comedic relief? Or... No, he'll he'll yeah. play it straight. Um, Has he ever played it straight? I mean, he'll he'll be a bit of a comic relief character. I don't mm-hmm. even know what character he would play because yeah. it's not the main character. Yeah, they didn't mention. If, I mean, if they so. make him his friend Mac, I mean, it 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 would be a weird cast because Mac is like an, a grizzled old army guy with PTSD mm. and stuff, so mm. I don't know how that's going to work if he's Mac, but he might very well be Mac, so okay. we'll see. So I guess this Meg's bird then is totally throwing my theory, you know, the baby out with the bathwater or whatever the hell that old story is. I mean, just throw that kid in the ocean. Yeah, the I'm pretty sure it. it's not going to go that way. Don't! But, you know, who knows. But what we do know is that the VHS mm-hmm. anthology movie that I've seen and I love, did you see it? I have seen a few of the segments, and yet I have not seen the one that has I Like You, but yeah. I've had everybody tell me about it. Yep. So it's and, really a cool, cool And I've seen the spoiler of the, images yeah. of what happens with her, mm-hmm. so that's why I haven't been yeah, as it was, compelled to watch. It was easily watch, the but. best. It's frankly the best short in all of the VHS movies all put three? together. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah that it's doesn't definitely say much the about one. the later installments of the series. but Well, how can you know, know that? You haven't watched this one yet. Well, if you're it's saying really the first had one. the best one, I mean... Well, uh, <laughs> that... Yeah, that can happen with anthology movies, though. So I'm excited about Siren. I think Siren could be really cool. The setup for it is interesting. It's basically our main character happens across this female who is enslaved in a sort of supernatural uh, sex club. Hmm. And he helps her escape. And then he realizes that maybe he shouldn't have done that. And then he becomes her prize. Uh, So it's going to be a really cool sort of how it plays out. I don't know. I'm excited as heck for it. And and the BD guys are also producing this one, I think, from what I saw. Because I know they did the VHS films. They also did Southbound and... At least I'm, I'm pretty sure they're behind it in some sort of productive capacity. That's possible. I'm not sure entirely. But I do know that it's being executive produced by the director of the original VHS. Okay. So we'll have his watchful eyes on it at the very least. So I'm definitely excited about that as cool. well. Well, speaking of watchful eyes that people have some sort of trust in, Veronica Mars, that Rob Thomas guy, people love him because of that. I haven't seen uh, iZombie, but I hear people really say fun. it's good. Yeah, yeah I so enjoy it. I'm so curious about this Lost Boys. Very much so because of the decade jumping. That's what I think could be the most interesting aspect of it, is how it starts out in 1967, and then the next season will be in the 70s, and the next one in the 80s, next one in the 90s. Kind of the- paves the way for an American vampire show, doesn't it? Yes, I think it does. <laughs> Where could they be drawing inspiration from, perhaps? <laughs> hmm, I wonder. But, yeah, Rob Thomas, people believe in him, and people love the series. It couldn't be as bad as those Frog Brothers sequels, right? So Yeah. Uh, well, I liked the sequels, actually. The yeah. third one wasn't as good, but the second was definitely sort of fun. I appreciate back, it. brought uh, back one of the Feldmans. And, mm-hmm. yeah. I would definitely be excited to see a longer series, although I'm not sure about the hubris of saying that it's a seven-season thing right off the bat. Yeah, I know. That's a very bold proclamation, and we tend to shoot those down like last week where they're like, oh, yeah, the, the Demon House or whatever the heck it is. Death House. Death yeah. House, yeah. Six that's a, movie it's franchise. Six movies, yeah. and you're like, you haven't even put the first one, you haven't even finished production on the first one yet have you so mm-hmm. bold declarations but it's at least a novel enough approach to it where i'm intrigued and hey cw needs some more vampires on their network with vampire diaries leaving so yeah i don't know i'm excited i'll watch it yeah same mm-hmm. here i'll at least give it a shot well i think that's gonna do it for the editorials on this week's news stories you guys thanks very much for watching we do this every single friday come back and check it out we appreciate it yeah. i've been cecil laird gracias i've been jaime and fuego and make sure to check out the main edition on kings of horror like share subscribe do the same for us here we appreciate it absolutely that's youtube.com slash the kings of horror yeah make sure you check them out they've got all kinds of great free independent horror movies there as well so thanks yeah. again and remember stay scared <laughs>